All right, we're back. We got ourselves a Bale Breaker Mango IPA. This one's 5.9. Um, fruit beer, fruited, fruited IPA. You can see right there. And this one was actually um, to celebrate the migrant workers that come and um, participate in all of the agriculture and uh, fruit harvest, hop harvest, all that that goes on right here in the Yakima Valley and abroad. Um, so, it says, got a little description on the side. Ses Sessiones del Migrante celebrates the Mexican migrant workers who travel to Yakima to harvest hops for the breweries across the globe. Founded by Cerveceria de Colima, Cerveza Loba, Ronin Fermentation Project, South Norte, and YCH Hops in collaboration with Bell Breaker. So there you go, a little write up. And this one has been going on for a few years in a row now. And it's pretty good shit. It's a nice, sessionable, fruity um, IPA with a little bit of a citrus zip. And I know I said all that before I even tasted it. But I've been having this for like three years in a row now, so I already know the profile. It's really good, refreshing. These are some that you could buy like a six pack, go to a barbecue, and just smash the whole pack. Why not? All right, let's do an unboxing. We got the Lancaster cap on. <clears throat> we got the Benchmade knife. We're gonna start off with a um pouch so we're going with the gut hook is that the gut hook <laughs> fucking jack yes that is the gut hook <clears throat> all right <clears throat> pull that open whoa that was probably unnecessary giving you a little hulkamania action right there <clears throat> see where does this come together so this one here these are just samples uh, me and Brian from the Wet Shave Experience decided to do a sample swap. So we got some very nice, very nicely packed samples. Sorry, Brian, I did not have enough sample containers to send them um, professionally packed like you did. So I just used uh, snack bags or Coke bags, dime bags, whatever, <laughs> whatever you want to call them. <laughs> Um, congrats to Brian from the Wet Shave Experience. He hit, uh, what was it, 400 on his YouTube channel. So that's fucking awesome. Uh, if you guys are straggling, sorry, I'm trying to get, I'm messing with the tape on my blade. If you guys have not checked out his channel yet, Brian, the Wet Shave Experience, uh, please go check him out. Dude is a, he's a cool guy. He's got a, a good family friendly channel. So. He sent me some 345. This one's Shipwreck. If I'm not mistaken, this is a Bay Rum ish scent. Very fresh, though. Hmm. Almost smells like an aquatic. Like, uh, maybe I got it wrong. Maybe it's not a Bay Rum scent. I don't fucking know. One thing, I asked him to send me like all his 345. Except for Shark Bite, because I've already he's already sent me Shark Bite on the last sample swap. I wanted I like 345's Trinity base. I think it's a wonderful soap base. But their soaps don't actually excite me enough to pull the trigger. Um, their labels, their you know, like it doesn't it's not doing anything for me. Then the scent notes aren't really jumping off the, the board at me. So this one's fresh, uh pleasant, nice. It has decent scent strength off of the um, off of the sample there. Mm. Three, four, five flannel shirt and um, a hair. Thank you, Brian. I will put that on my uh, worship statue of you. And if you ever do me wrong, the voodoo doll. <laughs> okay, this one's warmer. This kind of has like a warm, masculine vibe. Slightly sweet, but not, not overly done. Nice. 
Oh, this one is First Line Shave The Weight, which this is one that I really had interest in, but since I had Rose as a scent note, I wasn't willing to wasn't willing to take the risk. Oh, oh. No, I'm glad I didn't. I've heard people say it doesn't have that much rose. I I can it's cutting right through. It's cutting through everything, which sucks because I wanted to like this one. It had like gunpowder, booze, fucking I think it had hops as a scent note. Um, if I can remember correctly, but rose, um, tobacco, and I wanted to like it. Now, there is something nice about it. Kind of reminds me, though, of, um, Highland Springs in collaboration with Australian Private Reserve Eclipse. Kind of gives me those vibes. A little bit more toned down, though, but it kind of gives me those vibes. Maybe leather. I can pick the rose up and I just can't. I can't. I can't. I don't fucking like rose. I do not like rose. Three, four, five, fresh cut fade. I look like uh, look like CDB when he tried that Imperial IPA on his unboxing today. He was just... <laughs> oh, fuck. That shit was fun. Okay, let's try a fresh cut fade. This one I did have interest in, actually. I was like, you can't fuck up a barbershop. Kind of like... Can't really fuck up like a amber ale, hopefully. Or no, not an amber ale, brown ale. Can't really fuck up brown ale. It's nice. It definitely seems like a more modern barbershop. I'm not getting those like powdery traditional vibes. But it's definitely a bright, fresh take on barbershop. It's nice. I personally like traditional barbershops better, so I don't know. I don't think I'll be buying that one either. <clears throat> sea Spiced Lime. This one is from Seaforth slash Spearhead Shaving. And I saw that there was a lot of confusion with why they're like double naming it. Um, I think since uh, Spearhead acquired Seaforth, uh, the, the brand name, they are now, since they acquired the brand name, they are now able to release new scents under that um, same name. And so that's why they're kind of saying, like, this is still part of the Seaforth portfolio, but the overall, like, brand like branch owner is still like spearhead shaving if that makes any sense like they they can do spearhead releases on one side if they wanted to and since they acquired seaforth and if a scent fits the profile of like the seaforth um name then they can move forward with additional seaforth uh releases so that's the way i look at it i don't know if i'm right or wrong but this one had a lot of hype, or not a lot of hype. It got a lot of positive buzz. And smells nice. Definitely a fresh boy scent. It's, I mean, I get a lot of lime up front. That's definitely not all that's going on. The lime kind of has like a little bit of effervescence, you know, like a sparkling character to it, which is nice. I like that. I think there's some warm undertones, but I'm going to have to lather it up and give um, more impressions on that. And all of these, really. I'll use them eventually down the line, and we'll get some impressions on all of them. But I liked 4 out of 5. The first line shaved the weight. I'm glad I didn't take the plunge on it because I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have liked it. I wouldn't have liked it. That rose. All right. Moving to a box, you can see there, y'all know that right there, the Strike Gold Shave. I won a Razor Company giveaway for a, scent, for a set of their newest release, which is um, Strike Gold Shave 
in collaboration with the Razor Company and Alt Fragrances to release a Cologne Fusion, which is Creed Aventus dupe mixed with Baccarat Rouge dupe to create a new scent called Grant. And Alt calls it like Pristine 49 or some shit like that. Or something like that. But I tried this. I got a sample early on. And it was good stuff. This one has went over uh, well. I was planning on buying it. But I was planning on buying it um, for the purposes of doing a giveaway. And then I just so happened to win a giveaway for a free set so it's kind of like win-win there so there it is strike gold shave grant this is in the patriot base and a wonderful um base that is there's the aftershave you kind of get a look at the labels so we got the razor company strike gold shave grant and alt and then we'll go ahead and open it up you could kind of see i just took it out of the uh parcel locker uh, that was probably more like an oven I could see a little bit of a uh, fragrance oils rising to the top it smells great I get a lot of that uh, fresh pineapple on top you know from the Creed Aventus dupe but then what I get that didn't seem like everybody got was the warm undertones that Baccarat Rouge brings to the table I think it's a wonderful scent. I don't know what the split was, whether it was like 70 Creed Aventus, 30 Baccarat Rouge, or 50-50. I don't know what the split is, but it is a wonderful scent. I get DNA from both fragrances, and I think they work. I think they work well together, and this one went over pretty well with the community. Strike Old Shave, fucking killing it with their releases. So, I'll probably be giving away this set in the future. I know I'm approaching a milestone, so keep your eye out for that. I'm not going to do that. This is a giveaway, and it'll, it'll just be random in my channel. That's the best way to make sure that people that watch get it, get a win. So, all right, guys, that's it. Just a small unboxing. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I appreciate you. I hope you guys have a good weekend, and I'll catch you on the next one.